everyone, I'm Susan Tingley, founder of One ErgoNet Incorporated that provides ergonomic training and evaluation services. And I'm an instructor for UC Davis Continuing and Professional Education. The course I teach is called Ergonomics in the Workplace. Many of us are working from home and we're doing it with very little preparation. So I encourage you to take a moment now, right now, to create a healthy and productive ergonomic setup for you. There are three things you can do. One, have a dedicated workspace. This puts you in the mindset of when I'm here, I'm here to work. So if you're working at the dining room table, sit on the same side of the table in the same chair every time you go to work. Or some of you have to switch rooms. Maybe you're at the kitchen table with the kids in the morning, but you need a quiet spot like a bedroom that has a door that closes for an afternoon meeting. Then you maybe need a couple of dedicated work areas. Along those lines, I'd suggest keep a consistent schedule, minimize distractions, and wear work clothes. It's really tempting to roll out of bed and stay in our pajamas all day long, especially if no one is going to see us, but putting on at least a work shirt, that helps you put, put you in the work mode. The second thing you can do is set up your computer workstation to fit you. Ideally, the keyboard and the mouse should be close to your elbow height with your shoulders relaxed. And the top toolbar, top icon on your computer screen, that should be close to your eye level. For most people, the difference between their elbow height and their eye level is around 20 inches. But about 50% of the people I talk with that are working at home right now are using just a laptop or a laptop and a mouse. And the top of a laptop screen is only about nine or 10 inches above the keys. And that can create a really awkward posture. Let me show you. People tend to start reaching up and hunching forward and dropping their head down in this awkward position. And the general ergo guideline is not to work in an awkward position for more than a total of two hours over the course of the workday. And if you're working with a laptop currently, you're probably in that position for more than two hours a day. And it becomes fatiguing to work in that position for that long. And so that's why I call it the sad puppy posture because your arms are hunched, your head is dropping forward, and you'll feel pretty sad if you're there for more than two hours a day. So the most important piece of equipment that you can use is an external keyboard and an external mouse. As soon as you separate what you're looking at from what you're reaching for, you can position all of those things in a good position for you. And there's a couple different approaches. If you are average height to shorter, most tables are probably a little bit too high for you for the keyboard and mouse. And so then maybe you need to raise yourself up. And you can do that either by sitting on a couple of pillows, or if you have an adjustable chair, raise your chair up. And then you maybe need to use a footrest. And if you don't have a footrest, you can use a book. If you're on the tall side, then maybe the table is an okay height. Either way, average to shorter and raising yourself up, or taller person and the table's the right height, you're still gonna need to raise your laptop up higher to get that top toolbar within an inch or so of your eye level. So this is one option with an external keyboard and mouse. Another option, especially for average to shorter height people, is to get the keyboard and mouse lower. And there are many ways to do that. So one option would be to use a type of keyboard tray. This particular example is a clamp on one that can clamp onto any table that's flat on top and flat on bottom. Um, there's a variety of TV tables that are out there. This particular one is adjustable in height. And then you can adjust it to your you know, elbow height and put your keyboard and mouse on that. And then put your laptop on your kitchen table or whatever surface you have and raise it up. Or if you want to, you can create your own. So in this example, I'm using a cookie sheet, but you can use a cutting board, game box, or similar flat hard surface for your keyboard and mouse. And then you use a pillow and roll up towel to keep it from sliding down your knees. And that allows you to position the keyboard pretty close to your elbow height with your feet flat on the floor. And then you raise your laptop up to whatever height you need. So these are just a couple of examples. So think about being creative and look around to see what you have available to you already to create an ergonomic workstation set up for you. It doesn't have to be fancy and it doesn't have to be really expensive. The third thing you should do is stretch and move. Even if you have the most perfect workstation set up, you really need to move around at least once every half hour to hour. 
So I would encourage you to think about doing big movements, walking, marching, big arm circles, at least once per hour to counteract being sedentary. And it could be as short as 30 seconds up to about three minutes. You just need to get those muscles moving and the oxygen and the blood flow throughout your body. And the only way to do that is really to move. I would also encourage you to think about doing postural stretches and maybe do those once every half hour for 30 to 60 seconds. And that helps to reduce the impact of any awkward postures you may get into or repetition. Let me show you an example of a postural stretch. So if you're not already standing, go ahead and stand up. And then I want you to take a deep breath in and reach up towards the ceiling, really, really reach and stretch and then bend your elbows like you're pushing your elbows into your back pockets. Slowly straighten out your arms, pull your arms back behind you, fingertips back behind you. Just stretch and hold it here for a second and then relax. And what you should notice about that postural stretch is the ending position is the opposite of that sad puppy posture. And even if you're not really working with a laptop in quite that awkward of a position, even if you're working with an external keyboard and mouse, our tendency as we get pulled into the computer, we tend to get into that forward position anyways. So any kind of postural stretch should be the opposite of the awkward posture. So remember, there are three things that you can do to be healthy and productive. One is have a dedicated workspace or a couple of spaces if you need to move around. Two is to set up your computer workstation to fit you. So the top toolbar, top icon within an inch of your eye level, keyboard and mouse within an inch of your elbow height. And then three is to move around and stretch at least once every half hour to hour. And think about both big movements for circulation as well as postural stretches to reduce awkward postures. So on behalf of UC Davis Continuing and Professional Education, stay safe and stay healthy.